So we've made a lot of improvements on the old car and she's starting to look like a car again. We got this pan in today and we now have this frame rail welded in. We've put more spot welds, well plug welds in the factory ever thought of because we want it to be safe. This pan we still have to remove but we got all this cleaned up and sealed. We sealed the inside of the frame rails and by we I mean me but I just like to say we for some reason. And we're about to put this in here, make sure it fits right and start putting some sheet metal screws like we did the floor pans and make this look like an actual car. And the trunk pan we still have to straighten out because it came in the mail crunch and munched. Well, it came from the shipper that way, but at least our other parts didn't come that way. Well, I'm gonna get to it and hopefully she'll look like a car by the end of this video. We will have the quarter panels on by the end of this video, I believe. And we might start putting the roof structure in, but I'm missing a lot of the, like I need the A pillars and a few other pieces that I don't have. But we may be able to get them, I'm not sure, before the end of the video. So now, we have everything cleaned up, that frame right on there, we're gonna put this piece in here. She fits so far. She hidden anything? No. Need to move the back some. You don't want to fit very, very well. That may be my fault, or it may be, I don't know. Let's see here. That's why. Well, you always got to test good things. Couple hits with a hammer and we should be good. And perfect. Well, that don't look too bad, except for hidden there. It didn't help none that this floor pan came bent. Trunk pan. I think that's where we want it. I think it is. May undo one more of these screws. Help us adjust it a little better. Don't look too bad. As you can see we have a pretty good size gap here. We're about to put a clamp on there and we should be able to pull it to itself and it shouldn't be a big deal or a problem, but we want to address that before we weld anything. We're going to throw that trunk floor extension on and then we're going to test that quarter panel in a second. And after that we have to build all this inner structure, but it's starting to look like a car. And for everyone asking about the last video, why it was kind of cut up and cut my sentences off when I was saying something, it was because the camera kept dying. The battery didn't want to stay charged. Also, for the people saying it's not going to be the original car, I understand it's a lot of reproduction parts, but this was the only way to save this car other than if, some, if you were to cut the VIN number off and do that, 
which is a rebody and it's against the law to do that at least i'm trying to save as much of the original car as possible but i'm gonna go grab that trunk floor extension throw it on there and we're gonna put some clamps down here to hold that and see what we get hopefully it's gonna start looking a lot better as you can see the quarter panels now on there the reason that i did not show putting that on there is because there was no good way to film it and i looked ridiculous as i was trying to hold this up here with one leg and try to get it into place but she's where she somewhat needs to be the back has to be pulled out some more about like that and a few other things to make sure she's perfect but i'll show you guys the door right gap. here's the door gap the panel still needs to go in some more at the bottom but honestly that's a pretty good door gap so far and it continues all the way down it does start to slim in here just a little bit and that's because this panel is not pulled all the way back to here yet once it is that door gap should be consistent all the way up this is just the test fit stage it took about two times of adjusting the inner wheelhouse to get it here the main part that's going to take a lot of time is doing all this inner structure here because this is the fun part because all this has to just be so so and be perfect we also are going to have to get this side on here and a few other things now the inner and outer wheelhouse are somewhat assembled together i think they're in the right place you never can be too sure until you test fit them. We're gonna throw a couple sheet metal screws in this area so that we can remove these vice grips. If not, they hit the B pillar. Still looks lined up right. These screws are a little bit bigger than the ones we were using earlier because we ran out of them. Oh, maybe not. We got one over here. We have one left. four pairs of ice grips later it's only the 4500th time this has been on here I do have to say so myself. We fit. So we finally got our tail light panel in just like three minutes ago. Already got it set in here. We're now going to put the Dutchman panel back in here and get the quarter panels where they're supposed to be, align the drip rails, or well, the trunk gutters, I mean. These bad boys. And I think by the end of this part, we should have the uh, roof skin setting on here, at least the quarter panels all the way on. Not sure what the best way to go about trying to do this without knocking the wall down. Maybe just like that. adjusting and test fitting we got this panel where it's pretty good right here there's still a bump here it's not real bad this can all be adjusted out later it's just we need to get some good structure holding this stuff together before we make it just absolutely perfect but i gotta say right there's perfect right here 
we're probably gonna have to do some body work and adjust this. Other side's better than this side, but through here, we're gonna have to pull this up and bring it in or it's not gonna fit right. Same way with the other side over here, we have to bring this side up, well, I mean down just a little bit, but that wheelhouse is fitting 90% right. This one's our one we gotta adjust a little bit. And once I get that done, we're gonna weld the wheelhouses in and then we're gonna have that set that roof skin on there once we put the other A pillar in there to make sure everything's lined up before we really weld anything too solid. Now I might have something. There. this was going to go. Where is it? It's looking pretty good right here's lined up i'm sure someone's gonna say these a pillars are will bend easy and you are very correct that's why that's in there and that one's supported against that just needed to get it on here before we did all of that so we could get the window opening done and get all of this stuff lined up as you can see this has to be pulled in and we have to line every bit of this up to make it fit right and this piece is really important to be at the right angle that's why the roof skins on here so we got quite a bit done in this video. Next video, we will get everything welded down. The inner and outer wheelhouse is welded together, welded in the car. We'll get the tail light panel welded in the car. We will hopefully have a trunk lid by then. Uh, what else we're gonna have to do? Hopefully we'll have all the roof structure completely rebuilt in the next video. We'll get that done. We'll get everything welded, like I said, get the floor pans welded in there. And hopefully we'll have it get it sandblasted and get everything on the inside like wheel wells, trunk floor, floor pans, all the inner structure primed and painted so that we can weld the quarter panels in their final resting place and get all that lined out. So hopefully it won't take too many parts. I'm going to shoot to make it about 10 parts or so. It may be a little bit more, but I don't want to bore you guys with a whole bunch of parts or drag it out over a year. So I think we can have this done in probably... 10 parts or so and hopefully by the end of the month we'll be painting this thing and you know have it basically at least 90 percent ready for paint and body work and all that stuff we'll at least have the body and shell done the engine and transmission i'm still tracking it down but i did find the center console at the place where they tore the engine out of it 50 years ago it was sitting in the woods so that's kind of neat that's going back in the car and also the leads I have on the engine is it was put in a preacher's truck, then it was taken out, a guy traded the preacher four wheels and tires for it, and then a guy traded him two wheel bearings for the engine, and that was in the 80s was the last time it was known of. So I'm hoping I'll be able to find the engine. From what I understand, it stayed local. So I'm going to ask around, and maybe in the next video you'll see us with the original engine. And also the transmission and rear end was put in that truck. It was a long wheelbase Dodge about a 70 to 71 model and hopefully it's still around because it has my transmission and rear end i need in it 
but probably since they tore the motor out in the late 70s early 80s it probably got crushed between then and now but there's always that chance it's still around i'm gonna ask around it's a small town where it was at so i'm sure someone will remember it and know what happened to it see you guys in the next video thank you guys for watching and maybe consider hitting that like button and subscribing because we have a lot more Will It Runs coming. Also, we'll be putting this car together, and next week we'll have another part on it.